Welcome to Diaper News Episode 12. The Puffers is an ABDL diaper that was available for purchase until a few months ago. But then the manufacturer Tykables decided to stop production and start a new edition. You can see what the first design, version 1 so to speak, looked like in my hands-on test from July 2023. At that time, the diaper had already been unavailable in several stores for several weeks. However, you wouldn't be able to buy the new version yet either. It's announced for late 2023 and has been for a while. After we already have October, it can therefore only take a few more weeks, provided the launch is not postponed. We hope not, of course. Let's take a look at all the info that's out there in advance. The dogs on the diapers are said to have grown up and are therefore no longer in school, but have a job where they work and soon earn their living. Nevertheless, it will not be too serious, because they are only in training. There will apparently be four different designs per pack, which you can see above. What is immediately noticeable is that the background colors have disappeared, giving way to a larger motif on the adhesive surface. After that, you can only see hydrants. In the first version there were already those there, but together with paws, cars and other motifs. As far as you can see on the pictures, there will only be hydrants and no other motifs. Possibly still between the legs, that is not visible, but I think rather not. In the back, on the other hand, there are again large, colorful motifs. These go in color up to the side parts and create a transition with the adhesives. The suction power is said to have been strengthened and is stated at 7.5 liters according to the standardized ISO test. The manufacturer had previously stated 6 liters, but it was unclear how this was measured. If the old value was also according to ISO and this was only forgotten to be written, it would be an upgrade of 1.5 liters of theoretical suction power. A practical test will have to show whether it can withstand more as a result. The result of the first version was good, but not outstanding. It is quite possible that this will change with the new version. The outer material will remain plastic film, as the majority of you prefer, instead of cotton. Also, a more sturdy rather than thinner foil, as was the case with the predecessor, similarly with other features. It sounds like an improved version with new design. Of course, with the latter, one can wonder which one is better. That is more a matter of taste and cannot be measured like the suction performance. However, I find it a bit of a shame that there are no more puppers to buy for several months now, the old ones are long sold out and the new ones are not yet on the market. Here you can just see excerpts from my field test video of the old design, so you can compare it, if you have not yet seen the video. Presumably the manufacturer is doing this on purpose so that the new version gets more attention and only this one is on the market. After the production is stopped, it will take some time until all warehouses of stores and possibly middlemen are empty. From the manufacturer's point of view, both are understandable. As a customer, I would like to be able to buy the old design until the new one is released. As far as prices are concerned, nothing is known yet. Since the new design also relies on Velcro, experience shows that it will be somewhat more expensive. How do you like the new design compared to the old one? Which one do you like better? Write it in the comments. If you are interested in the puppers, you can find the complete video of my field test of the first version on the side to get an impression of this diaper. In it, I introduce the diaper in detail and show how much it withstood in the field test. Take care and stay dry. Until the next video.